It's here. Hey. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Red versus Blue, no, season 15, no episode intro. one, prologue. No intro, just just bad girl squee and go. We've talked about it, let's do this, let's do this. All right, click. Maybe, click. There we, we go. We have talked about Red versus Blue extensively. Fig news. Better. Literal garbage. Don't talk to them. Don't listen to them. Wow. Don't become cute friends with them. Got it. No friends. Rule number three. <laughs> your radio on at all times. Hey, McGreedy. Your radio is off. I'm busy. <laughs> so, the motion sensor, one floor down. Command wants you to take a look. Fucking command. Do I look like a goddamn exterminator? Vargas, show this bunny around. Wow. He's uh, always like that. Goddamn dick shit. <laughs> so, first deployment. Mm-hmm. Well, if you signed up looking for action, you won't be finding it here. We're a long way from court. No, I don't want to fight anyone. He does the whole field. You wouldn't to die. When I get out, I'll have a full ride to the college of my choice. I'm going to be a botanist. You're gonna die. Well, I've never much trusted robots myself, but that's just because I grew up in the South. Out here, your main enemy is boredom. Boredom and a CEO who really loves putting dog shit in pellet cases. Well, I anticipated the boredom. That's why I brought along some books on tape. Books on tape? What's the appeal of that? Oh, well, ages get stuck together? Bless. Oh no. Yep. God. We're so dead. Poor babies. We're gonna make you immediately love them and then die. It's like the Waterworld show. Oh. Yeah, I think these are fakers. They have, they have to, to be. be. There are either... Tucker with a knife and a sniper rifle. And, and that's not, not right on either armor. count. That's true, too. But there's no telling whether or not he kept that armor. I would still have loved to have seen Wash and Carolina have a fucking sniff and seeing him. Jesus! Wow! <laughs> yeah, you're not. What an intro! What a though. great tease! What an intro! Damn. Yeah, no, no way. Fakers. As you can see behind me, UNSC police are swarming the scene of a brazen late night heist. We're told the attack has taken the lives of a dozen UNSC guards with untold millions in industrial goods stolen. The UNSC has yeah. not identified suspects. However, the limited surveillance footage obtained by this reporter confirms an ugly surprise. The reds and blues have struck again. And cut. Again? Got it. Is that a wrap? Let's pack it up. I want to get inside for the next pickup. Inside where? They're going to shoot us. They're not going to shoot us. Follow my lead and when in doubt, use a confusing acronym. Military types love acronyms. Stop right there, please. Gonna have to ask you to turn around and go back where you came. This is restricted military AO. At eight, soldier. We're BADDAD, -D -D, bomb action detection decision and diffusion. Bomb squad? <laughs> just left. That was RAR, rapid action response. We're FIAT, forensic identification analytic tech. I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to call her out on it, but this is great. Now stand by. I'm gonna have to run this up the chain. No time. We have a live LOL RPG upstairs with a DPRD of over 5,000. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's that RTAA in the next eight minutes. RTAA. Okay. That sounds pretty big. Class 1, F U B A R F O S H O. He doesn't say a whole lot, does he? He's a French analysis repair transfer. No English, but he's the best L cars DDR in the entire AOL. We. <laughs> oui. Established, many experts have concluded the Reds and Blues are attacking the UNSC on behalf of a free chorus. 
Since its rediscovery, the small colony has insisted on remaining independent from the rest of the galaxy. Oh. A demand that does not sit well with the members of the UNSC. Of course These it doesn't. recent attacks have only complicated the negotiation process, and the UNSC has threatened extreme measures if the attacks do not stop immediately. Public opinion has shown increasing support for military intervention, which brings Hey, who the hell are you two? We're documenting. We're with UNSC intelligence. Who are you? Intelligence, huh? We'll see about that. Stay where you are. Follow me. <laughs> oh, no. We need to leave. They're gonna lock us up and throw away the Can it. Are you rolling? Christ. Speed. Which brings us to the events of last night. The Reds and Blues invaded the secure supply depot, leaving no survivors to tell their tale. They took whatever they came for and left behind a grotesque symbol of their butchery. No answers will be found here tonight. You left the Only more there? questions. That ain't washed. What are they up to? And what? Is there end game? Breathe! Don't move! You are under arrest! That's a wrap. Maybe next time I'll let you run it. Maybe next time I tell the story to be in the end. You know their offer was open ended. I'll just do it already. For what I'm paying you, I can float a new department and give myself a big boy ring. Oh, uh, don't forget, you'll also have a lot more room in your office without my awards cluttering the place. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I like I her. I was talking to God's gift to journalism. Can we start over? I bend down and kiss your boots. How's that? We can start over. You can agree to cover the follow-up. You're going to bankrupt the station, Dylan. I'm going to Grumpy McBoss pants! There's a story here, and I want to be the one to chase it down. You take it swats at windmills, Andrews. The reds and blues are old news anyway. People are bored of them. Why don't you do a story about those monster-fighting sexy teenagers? Yeah! The kids love those nuts. Oh, How gosh, can you say da, it? Da-da-da-da-da! Like da, 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 da. what they did on Chorus? They're also color coded. Ten months. Frickin' lifetime ago. Ten we live months. in a 24-hour oh. news cycle, Andrews. Ten months ago, every journalist, talk show host, and shitty internet blogger would have sold a kidney to interview those guys. But they disappeared. Now, they're just everyday criminals. Hmm. These facts. These characters no way. don't have the depth you think they do. I profiled the Well, that's true. <laughs> I know that. Well, Caboose has some layers. Their design must be motivated by something Wash has layers. Oh, you're such a pain in my cojones. Every time Church you start on one of these damn crusades, I start pissing like kidney onion. stones like hail. Like a Tommy gun down there. <laughs> Jesus. Two weeks, Carlos. I'm not asking for the moon. You want two? You got one. You want rope? You'll give me enough to hang myself with. Thanks a million, honey bucket. And I want daily dispatches. I want to know every step you take and how much shit gets stuck on your shoes and in between your teeth. Of course. Ew. So, where to first, okay. Tony Hote? I'll start where Agent Washington did when he tracked down the Reds and Blues. At the beginning. Good move. I think I want to back it up and read the text that was on that screen there. Ah! <laughs> I've missed this so much. So good. Oh, the show. I love this new direction. Oh, the show. I love the point of view of this oh, reporter. Oh, the show. This is all wonderful and gosh. Humor spot on. Master bullshitter. I love her. Humor love spot her on. The, um, I love the journalistic angle. I love that this uh, new showrunner has, you know, still can do the drama and the laughs at the same time because. It's hilarious that this girl on her first day is it gets killed, but at the same so time you feel so bad for her because she joined the military. I want to be a her education, and that's what's killing me is that in the space future they still have to join the military to pay for their education. It's been fucking three hundred years. Do you five hundred years? Do you know where we are as a country right now? It's gonna take a long time just to get back to where we were a couple months ago. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig like... ourselves out of this deep, deep hole by digging deeper. We're just gonna come out in anyway. China. Anyway, uh, but no, this was great. I am so happy. Oh, this was so good. I am gonna back it up and take a look at what the text on that screen said. Cool, cool. Because we had a little <laughs> somewhere. Come on. A uh, little bit of text there. There was. Oh, I'm gonna. What do we got? Mute, mute, mute. Show me what we have. We're 
playing a little bit through the episode muted just to... Okay, what's it say? The Box Canyon the Bays will be in the middle of nowhere. From these humble beginnings, they've gone on to influence the galaxy as we know it. The Reds and Blues started as simulation troopers used to train the super, so super soldiers of Project Freelancer. The details of their time here are sketchy or classified or both. <laughs> so we just don't know how formative these early years were for that. <laughs> If these walls, <laughs> if these walls could talk, perhaps we'd know why they turned into chorus as bloody mercenaries for money, fame, or simply for fun. So she's already writing the story before showing well, up on yeah. Gulch, which makes sense. You gotta write a few drafts. But I love that it's just like, yeah, the first five seasons were mm, they're canon, but nah. I don't know how formative <laughs> these were. You don't know how formative they were. Most of the details are lost. God bless. That's so funny. That's pretty much what how a fan. What a beautiful hand wave. That's pretty much how fandom looks at it. Like, yeah, the first five seasons are canon and they're pretty funny and we have some fun character stuff in there, but it's also just like, how's the timeline work? How does people work? Also, let me just. Did they really go to the future? Well, no. Let me just. How did that work? Let me just grab reconstruction and cradle it lovingly in my arms. It's like, yeah, the first five seasons happened, but that doesn't mean we can explain them. <laughs> and That's I love just a big that we're just we're just kind of Kanye shrugging our way out of that one. I do love it's that we can say ten years like, since Blood Gulch ended. It's been ten years since Blood Gulch ended. Yeah, I know. We're moving on. Yeah, I know. And I love that because we have this different point of view, it's not immediately we're here with the reds and blues, we have this, we have that. It's going to be, I'd imagine it's going to be a good chunk of time until we actually see them because that's going to either confirm or break the conceit of there's the, there are these awful mercenaries that are pulling heists and murdering people left, right, and center. Like, one, they're not competent enough for this shit. One. <laughs> Two, there are too few of them, especially in that shot. Three, who's wearing that shade of blue armor anymore? Church is gone. 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 Like, gone. Like, like we hammered that into the fucking Three ground. kinds of gone. Many, many flavors of just He's not died anymore. so many times. He has shuffled off his mortal coil. He is an ex-AI. He is... <laughs> I need to learn the dead. The director's monologue. dead. Alpha's dead, and now Epsilon is dead. I really need. Who to is learn. wearing that armor? I need to learn the ex parrot monologue. I really do. And Wash is in black and as in uh, gray and yellow again, back in black. Um, I really think that this was based off of. We know that they had a big publicity shot when they initially came out as. Oh yeah, we took down Freelancer. We did this. They had a shot with um, the chairman whose name I just completely, whew. but Hargrove? Hargrove, thank you, Malcolm Hargrove. My brain went Malcolm Reynolds, and then my brain went, that is not correct. That is someone else. <laughs> that, is, well, that is Captain Tight Pants, that is not who we're talking about. It's very fitting, because way back when we interviewed Miles and Bernie about the end of 13, um, you know, Miles said, hey, I don't remember if he said it in this, in that interview or in a panel later on, but he's like, if I could have my way, we never see how that fight scene ends. I really sincerely and, hope and we I don't. Feel, I feel like with where this story is picking up, that's that's exactly, you know, that yeah. story is just left as is, and we're yeah. picking up further on down the line. So I like I, that. One of my friends uh, talked about, I can't remember who it was, said something about, if they're going to talk about that fight scene, I'd love to see that everyone has a different retelling of it, that we just rush them on it. Yeah. So we don't really have an ending for that, and I like that. That's a good what idea, What I really too. liked was the detail of Chorus just wanting to remain completely independent of the UNSC, because that's how the Civil War started. That's what the Spartans were initially created for, before the Covenant showed up right the fuck out of nowhere. But it was this huge thing between... I can't... I'm not up on my Halo lore pre-war. But it was very much a thing about, you need to be part of the UNSC, no, fuck you, we don't want to. And there was a very large civil war going on, and then the Covenant showed up and we went, oh shit, we, uh, we have bigger things to fight? Yeah, but the Spartans were initially made to do ops against other humans. Like, that was the point of the Spartan II program, was to win the civil war, and they just happened to be the best thing we had to go up against the Covenant. But just like, how yeah. convenient! Whoops! Like, boy, it's a good thing we had these and we always were going to do... They're not child soldiers. It's fine. It's fine.
okay. Everything's fine. It's just fine. We didn't kidnap okay. all these kids. It's totally fine. And they put clones that were going to die of massive organ failure within a couple of years in their places. No, we're just going to shove that in the back we, of the... We were having a slumber party. What, what are you guys up to? We're, we're having a slumber party. It's Everyone is having a good time. So if you didn't know, Halo Cannon is real fucked up, y'all. But the, I, I love the detail of Chorus wanting to remain independent and that coming in as part of, well, maybe they're acting as mercenaries. It lends this story credence. And I do think that our color schemes and whatnot were based off of that press release back then because Wash was in blue at that point. Mm -hmm. And what other reason would you have? Like, he didn't switch until the middle of the Chorus War, yeah. end of season 11. And so I can see them kind of having this plot in the bag for a while like oh the reds and blues disappeared like initially they disappeared when they were initially going to be sent home and no one knows where they are well let's act like we're them and let's start putting stuff together and then them disappearing again after chorus ended was oh we don't have to scrap that plan we can keep doing this this will be great i really think it's just a bunch of um, everyone was too silent, everyone was too competent, everyone yeah. had the wrong weapons. And and the way that they, yeah, and the way that they act, too, like, I absolutely believe that Sarge would totally take a plasma cannon like that, which I know that's probably not the game term for it, I don't care. Um, Close enough. He absolutely would, but that's, but he would be so happy about it. He would, he would be overjoyed at getting to fire plasma shots at people. Um, Boom, ha ah, headshot. Not, yeah. I cannot improv Woo! Sarge. I am not. No, no. like, it's, it's not their style. Um, yeah. Because we know for a fact that they, they fail upwards. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, but, like, even, even if they wanted, if they had an objective to achieve, which, you know, again, we know that they can when they apply themselves that's not the way they go about doing it. And what a weird combination to have, because if we go by the colors here, we have Sarge, Caboose, Lopez, Donut, Tucker, and Wash. Yeah. Like, that is a really, really weird combination. Just well, to begin, even having Lopez there is one and, of those... And I know that Wash is a hardened soldier, but even if that was him, he would be yelling at Sarge for getting blood all over him. Come on, guys! Like, did you really have to? I mean, I will say that the wiping the visor and then taking it off is like, oh, we just took a level in badass. Like, this is terrifying. But none of them are that mission-oriented. None of no. them are that quiet. None of them are no. that... No, they would be chattering away throughout oh, yeah. this entire ordeal. Like, this is terrifying and wonderful, but there's no way it's Yeah. There. No. Or if it is, there is some crazy ass brainwashing going on. Yeah. Here. Like, like this is not a we're willingly doing this because of X, Y, and Z reasons. Like, this is either something happened to them or someone is pretending to be them. Which one agrees? Yeah. And she, she, she has lots pet of me, opinions. Pet me, and she bails off the couch. She has lots of opinions on red and blue soldiers. Yes. Um, I I like and the theory back. that um, it's someone. It's more survivors from what was it? Chiron Industries. Chiron. Chiron Industries. Um, that it's more of those survivors, um, kind of like Sharkface was. I, I'd be fine either way. I'd be okay with it being, you know, a few of those guys kicking around. But I'd also be okay with it being a completely new type of villain. Just a group of assholes. Yeah. yeah, just some opportunist looking to sweep in and take advantage of the situation. Or people who have a grudge against Chorus that weren't actually on the planet or people who were on the planet and don't accept the idea of peace or people who stood to benefit from what Karon was getting from Chorus yeah. and are not happy that shit went down yeah like he they had Karon probably had buyers for this technology that they were going to get and that whole deal went up in smoke when the arrangement on Chorus did so if they can try to bring Chorus under UNSC control and try to get things a back way then there's a way to do that. Because Caron had deals with the UNSC. I mean, yeah. the chairman was double dipping. Yeah. Evidently, so, you really don't have to divest from your business to get into politics. Now I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> Even Lex Luthor sold LexCorp when he became president. Isn't that weird? I put that in your Oh, man. I don't smoke it. Anyway, that, yeah, I made myself sad oh, because wow. that's too horribly politically relevant. But this was really good. I this think was we've a great start. For longer than the episode was. This was a great start. I'm so excited. Me too. I just and it's gonna be a week before people get to see this, and I'm just like, and I know it's gonna be like 
I'm guessing that it's going to be at least episode 10 before we get to see the actual reds and blues. If these aren't the actual reds and blues, because I'm not really ruling out crazy ass brainwashing because this show, man, it, I mean, but we also should yeah. have AI fragments kicking around somewhere. Yeah. Which might lead into crazy ass brainwashing, or it might just be like, we haven't seen them yet. Maybe they went to ground because now they have AI fragments forever and they need to kind of deal with this. Mm -hmm. Because historically, the UNSC dealing with the remains of Project Freelancer when it comes to AI doesn't end well. No. And if anyone knows that, it's Wash. Oh, poor he's baby. Got, you know, he shows up and everyone's got their own AI fragment and he's just kind of going, oh god, this is my nightmare. Just, this is my nightmare. Just we do a Kill Bill style. Uh, the sirens. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, uh, yeah, there's there's probably a lot of we have a shit ton of AI that we probably shouldn't we should maybe go to ground for a bit and just Or but, they're all in like fucking Tahiti or something. No one magic. No place. one recognizes them without the armor. They're in the Bahamas, they're in Jamaica, they're in wherever. It's like no one recognizes them without the space armor. Space Jamaica. <laughs> space Jamaica. That sounds lovely. And no one recognizes them without the armor, so no one's saying anything and they're just hearing these news reports and going Maybe we should just stay here. Or alone. knowing, oh, come on, you know these guys, with the exception of maybe Wash, wouldn't keep up with current events. True. Maybe Tucker. Maybe Tucker. So it's Wash and Carolina going, yeah, we should just stay here for a little while. You know, Tucker's having a really good time bonding with Junior, and Griff got to see his sister again, and we should just extend this vacation a little bit. Like, little bit. Yeah. Just hit the snooze button a little bit longer on this you know, extended. Eventually although, we're going to have to go and deal with this, but now it's not. Although that does bring up the question <laughs> of like what the reds and blues would do, you know, assuming that life didn't continue to be chaotic. Like when they go their own separate ways, like what would they all go do? I think my favorite sort of fic trope that I've seen dealing with that is they just wind up getting houses down the street from each other. I like that because idea. They like they all live on the same cul-de-sac and yeah. just uh, have barbecues that pretty much have barbecues, have pets Keep that your dogs each off my yards, lawn! Prank each other, occasionally TP each other's houses or just break into each other's houses and steal the entire supply of yeah. coke. Because this like, is, it's one of those things <laughs> where <laughs> they all hate each other, but you know they all hate each other, but they love each other. You know, that sort They're of They're a dysfunctional family. They will fight each other until someone tries to fight them. And then, and, and then yeah. it's like, excuse me, fuck you. Exactly. We were having a discussion. Thank you very much. It's like, this is not your, I, I, I'm sorry, are you actually trying to fight a, oh, friend, you should not. No one invited you to this party. Why are you here? <laughs> this is our barbecue. Fuck off. Go away. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if anybody at Rooster Teeth is watching, but kudos. This is a fantastic start of the season. Do you Keep really the great think work. they're not watching the reaction videos for their season premiere of this? Yeah, Do you I know, really think but, they're not watching But we're long-winded, so <laughs> <laughs> figure people just, get bored and just, just stop watching. Put us on in the background and be like, yeah, yeah, that's a theory. Oh, they're really wrong. We should probably not let them know that that one is spot on. Oh, that one's hilarious. I wish we thought of that. Oh, no. Oh, we discarded that's on the cutting room floor. That one's one of our bloopers. Wow, where the fuck did that one come from? <laughs> but no, seriously, thank you guys. Seriously, and this is amazing. For, for a series that's been going on now for 15 seasons, I'm still just as excited as I was when I was in college and we were getting episodes, you know, after Blood Gulch ended. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see where this season goes. Keep up the great work. And this I mean, is amazing. If you don't think we're excited, rewind about, oh, what is this, 24 minutes at this point? Rewind about uh, 23 and a half minutes and watch us just be like, start. <laughs> like, okay. that's, yeah, we didn't have an intro. We had some screaming and we're watching this at like nine o'clock at night. We've been waiting all day for this. So, yeah. yeah, this was a ton of fun. Yeah. Why do we have to wait for next week? I need the next one like, now. Yeah, for sure. Now. Uh, now, please. Anyway, things. Yes. 
Uh, I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TheManglin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. And I'm Katie. You can find me on all of the social medias at Kiaje. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. If you like seeing us react to things with more of a horror bent, you can wander over to Silver Screams. That is Silver underscore Screams on the social medias and Silver Screams on the YouTubes where you would actually be watching us. We reacted um, to It. It was great. Yeah, we just reacted to the brand new It trailer. We have a few more things coming down the line that we're actually going to record right after this. So, do, 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 and do. at some point we are going to start up discussions again on uh, Scream Queens is what we're working on now. And we may or may not have a few other things that we're looking at because scheduling and also losing one's voice is kind of a bitch. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> it's almost like you're trying to get better. I'm trying. I'm really you're trying. trying. So I still sound so like well. a prepubescent boy every now and then. I'm just like, ah, every now and then my voice just cracks. But not right now. No. Um, if you would like to support this channel, that would be super special, awesome, and we would adore you forever. Uh, there are two ways you can do that. One is we have a Kofi if you just want to toss a couple of bucks our way so we can feed the cat or buy her something nice and shiny or pay for new editing software. She's not or starving. She's no. not at all starving. But if no. you wanted to get like treats for her or something. But uh, Kofi does it in increments of coffee cups, buying someone a coffee for three bucks. And believe it or not, that feeds the cat for six days. So... <laughs> Yeah, one of those things. But you needn't worry. Winter's the cat, fine. The cat is not going to starve, but it helps to have extra budget. Just, yeah, this went on a little long. The other <laughs> way you should surprise if you'd like. We say it a 30 minute reaction video to an 8 minute episode. Uh, like I said, we're a little long winded. We're excited. The other way you can support us, if you would like, is by commissioning us. We don't take requests, but we will do commissions. The commission info is also now linked in the uh, description here. So you can click on that and take a look at the Google document. And if you want us to react to a thing or discuss a thing, the guidelines are in the document. Thank you so much for watching. We are super excited for this season. Oh my gosh. Yay. And we will see you next time. Seriously, just wipe off your visor and put your helmet down like a fucking boss. I'm wearing blue. And leave without a very expensive and important piece of technology. Yeah. Just fucking leave it there. The, Just leave it there. I guess he's got spares? Red versus blue. Yeah. Red versus or she. Blue. Them. Ooh. Ooh. Red versus blue style Mjolnir really is like something you can pick up at the fucking army surplus store. <laughs> it really yeah. is. I guess it's he or she or they. Has a spare. That yeah. asshole. Clearly they don't need it. Yeah. Just like this line of suits of armor all in that shade of blue. Oh just like, yes, I think today I'll wear the periwinkle and tomorrow is the cerulean. And then I can't. They're all blue. No. No. I can't wait to see. Wouldn't it be funny if they were a group of people and the color co like was just a coincidence? <laughs> like... Uh, clearly, no it's not. It, clearly There's it's not. Clearly it's not a coincidence. Way not but it would be though. really funny if they were just like... I don't know, it's just what we bought at the store. Excuse me, my dad passed this armor down to me and he used to commit crimes and now I'm using it to commit crimes and living in his legacy. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> the Or fuck? maybe they are evil <laughs> Power Rangers. Maybe they are evil Power Rangers and they're all just waiting to hop into their evil robot Megazord. I need that in my life. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs>